Hello everyone. This is lesson three. Uh, I'm going to be teaching uh, you guys how to be using classes, creating our new class, and uh, using the get and set values to uh, get and set properties, uh, using them in C Sharp uh, as a tool of uh, getting and setting uh, values uh, and posting them out using a button control. So let's get started. Uh, I've took the the liberty to. Uh, opening up our, f our uh, platform, our C-Sharp uh, 2005 Express Edition, so we can get started right away. We just open up a fresh new uh, project. And what I want to do is uh, put a button for our output. I'm just going to put the button right here. And uh, we're going to get right away of creating a new item. Now, we haven't got to create new items yet, so if you guys didn't see where I went there, uh, it's right here, shortcut, add new item. We're going to add a new item. We're going to leave it at class. We're going to change the class name to uh, computer. Dot CS. Okay, perfect. We're going to add it. And you're going to see here that it opened up a new tab and a new file in our hi hierarchy uh, as a class. Now, it's a class computer, so we can you can see here that we can write inside of it in the coding part. And uh, we're going to write some stuff in here. We're going to write some private and public. Uh, variables so at first we're gonna write uh, private and you can see here that we got it right away so we're gonna write private uh, string variable uh, let's call it brand for the brand name of the computer we're also gonna do another private we're gonna leave this one as a integer and for the speed of the computer and let's just add another one we'll call it private uh, we'll call this one as a string as uh, the use usage see if it's just brand new or if it's uh, been used at all so now okay we wrote in the class how do we go from this form class here if someone wrote in our button click event to get information from this class well we would go to our click event we go to form one in here and we would write, uh, we create an instance of that class. Now, how would we create an instance of that class? We would write the class name, which is computer. You can see here that it's right now in front of us. We click computer, and you'd give it a name. And we could give that name uh, number one, computer number one. Okay. And what we do, we drop it down. Now, we would write uh, the name that we gave it which is computer number one you can see here and uh, we would equal it to our class so we would do new computer put a couple brackets there there we go that's perfect now we we have an instance of the class computer now we can use it in our click event now how would we use it well we're gonna need some very uh, event properties we're gonna have to write some properties in the computer class now what properties do we use in uh, C sharp we're gonna use the get and set so we're gonna write that out now we're gonna write public so we're able to see it from another class and we're gonna put it as a string the brand and we're gonna make sure that the name is different from our uh, private name so now we're gonna write inside this we're gonna write get bracket return return brand and we're going to close that and we're going to close that also set brand is equal to value so we're going to put a semicolon and that we are finished with our first get and set property now we're going to write another one for the speed we're going to make sure that we write integer here on the top we're going to give it the name speed and we're going to write inside get return underscore the name of our private which is speed okay and we're gonna also set our speed to a value and you can see here that value is a known instance in our C sharp platform okay and you can see here that we're gonna write it one more time we're just gonna write this one as a string make sure that the variable that we use in this public is the same as 
the variable type that we use here. We're just going to put usage. Okay, and we're going to write inside here get return underscore usage with a semicolon. And we're going to set we're going to set usage sorry, underscore usage to a value. So we can call it from our uh, form one button click event, our uh, button handler to uh, return a value. Okay, perfect. Now that we finish this, well, we'll just double check, make sure that we wrote everything. Okay, we're going to save it. Now we're going to call this class from our uh, form one design. Okay, now where's that from? This button. So inside this button, we made an instance of the computer class and everything that's in it we could use. We can't use the private because it's only uh, a local for this class. We can use it within this class only. We can't call it from uh, a, a global point of view from outside of this local uh, class. Now, but we can call anything that is public, such as brand, and uh, recall the variable. So using the get and set property. So we're going to go to our form one now, and we're going to write a couple of things now. We're going to write um, the name that we gave it, which is computer one. It's an instance of computer one. Uh, dot, and you can see here now that we have. Uh, our properties that we can use such as our brand our speed and our usage so we're gonna give brand and we're gonna write inside that brand uh, let's assign it sorry we're gonna assign it to HP okay and let's do that again for the speed now it's integer so we're just gonna write down uh, let's say a 2 for 2 gigahertz speed okay and uh, for uh, computer one dot usage okay it's a string so let's just write new perfect close that up now we'll save it and we'll make sure that we're running without any errors here which is perfect now we click the button nothing happened well we wanted to print out the information that it retrieved from cla computer class how do we do that well we learned it from all the other earlier lessons in lesson one and two that we could write message message box dot show and we would write in here not the string but we would write just the computer brand the object and the property of that object we would write computer dot brand okay and uh, we could also write more than that let's just stick with just the computer dot brand for now and uh, let's save it and run it and see what happens okay and you can see here that it popped out the HP now how exactly did that work well you can see here that if we put a breaking point right here and we ran it you could see here that when connecting to HP we'll s do the next step you can see that uh, you can see that uh, the next step here that it went to set uh, it found that the brand and we entered the value for it and uh, it returned back to HP and found that the computer dot brand is, is to HP then it moved on to the next and the next and usage it set it to the value and uh, then it goes to message box it checks it all over and then it gives it back up as HP so I hope you guys like the lesson and I hope you guys see you in the next lesson thank you very much